already? Yeah, I'll be warm, won't I? You, you won the title in Miami. It's going to be a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm, I'm ready for it. Whatever happens, I'm, I'm good. I'm ready. I'm going to explode on Saturday. Well, at your explosive best, you are a, a very serious heavyweight already, at, even at this stage of your career. Welcome to you. I, I guess also, in one sense, it's more of a climactic issue for you to come from midsummer heat in South Africa to this. But I know that you've been here for what? Better part of two weeks, right? One week. One week. One week. Okay. H how has your prep gone? Prep's gone very good. Obviously, we've got a big task ahead of us. Daniel Dubois is a formidable opponent. You know, we respect Daniel Dubois. But when the level goes up, so does my level. I've had terrific sparring in Martin Bacoli, who's a well-known heavyweight on the scene. We had to take care of business. I'm no stepping stone. I want to take everything that he's got, and he wants to defend everything that he's got. So I'm looking forward to the challenge. Daniel, it was a difficult set of circumstances two years ago, and you came through it after the Joe Joyce disappointment. It was a difficult set of circumstances, your route to actually getting a shot at a version of the WBA World Heavyweight title, and a difficult opponent for what he was, and you overcame all of those things. Mm. And do you, as a consequence, feel you have taken your career to a new level? Well, sure. sure. This, is, this is another step in the right direction. I feel like that the fight in America and all of those other fights, they were just, you know, preparing me for my comeback. This is, this is where it gets serious, you know. I feel like this is my start of my career again, and I'm just ready, ready to go, really. Is there a little bit of you that is becoming impatient? George and Bob mapped out the plan, such as there can be a plan in boxing, particularly heavyweight boxing, but is there a little bit of you that's becoming impatient to say, well, look, Joe Joyce is still around in the UK. There are yeah. other young kids coming through. Tyson Fury is king of the hill. When am I going to get my chance to prove now that I should be king of the hill? Well, definitely. I feel like, you know, with Fury and all the... These are the guys that I want to fight next. These are the, the faces. These are the guys with the main belts. And you want to be a world champion, you've got to go through them. And, uh, yeah, and this on Saturday, this is a step in that direction. I want to show that I'm a legit contender. Kevin, for you, this is brand new, not just a stadium fight like this, on this magnitude, the conditions which I've mentioned. You are a new heavyweight also. You were a very highly rated cruiserweight, but you correct me if I'm wrong, two heavyweight fights to get ready for this. So how do you prepare for a step against a guy like this and you know the power he brings? Most definitely. I think the most important thing is having no self-doubt. If you're going to want to be at the top and mix with the heavyweights, which he was talking about, you've got to beat each other to go on to face the pinnacle. So a lot of fighters duck one another. I could have gone an alternative route, so could he. But I said to myself and I said to my promoter, Rodney Berman, when the fight came, yes, no questions asked. Because if you want to be the best, you've got to beat the guys that they put in front of you and to see if you can go on. So for me, this is all, this is all roads lead to here. Mm -hmm. The moment's big, big stadium, big press, blocking out the noise, you know, BMT. That's what it's about. I'm from the continent of Africa, from a small country of South Africa. No South African heavyweight has done it since Corey Sanders in 2003. Like I said, I'm not here to be an opponent. I'm here to make history for my country. I was going to get to Saunders because we covered that fight and that sensation he caused against Vladimir Klitschko. Before that, there was Franz Bota. They were heavyweights of a different cut to you. You are more of a mover. Yep. Is that how you propose to give Daniel Dubois a problem? Well, you know, I think it's no secret Daniel Dubois is a big, strong power puncher, as are most heavyweights. Power is all relative, you know. So I think the most important thing is boxing. You know, it's not a strongman competition. It's not a bodybuilding competition. It's not who looks the best. It's boxing. You know, in boxing, you know, a tough man is hurt in the sport. A smart man goes far and has long le longevity in the sport. And I plan to be smart. I was smart through the cruiserweight career. Now, don't get me wrong, the cruiserweights aren't the heavyweights. The heavyweight boys is a big game. The heavyweight game is big. And I don't doubt that, but I've got skill. My trainer, Peter Smith, has honed skill in me. There's not much people know about me. He probably didn't even know about me until this fight was offered to him. But I knew about him. You know what I mean? So for me, it's an opportunity but I'm yet to show the world that I want to be on this big stage and I want to stay. And is that true, Daniel, that you haven't had easy access to information about Kevin? Well, um, you know, to me, Kevin's a, you know, he's another opponent. I know he wants to rep and all of that, but I know I've, I've got to deal with him. I've got a winning style, so I've done the necessary practice, the necessary film study and all of that. 
but at the moment I'm just I'm I'm gunning for him. I'm ready to go. Somebody tried to tell me that this was very much to your liking, a tailor-made opponent style-wise, because yeah. you are already thinking about Usyk. Is that true? Well, yeah, sure. He's a south poise. He's plenty of, I've been getting plenty of practice, so this will just add on to that. And I want to take him out in style. I feel like, you know, I'll just destroy him and, and just, you know, move on. You've spoken already, Daniel, at length about your power and your ability to deliver it when it counts. 17 out of 18 by knockout speaks for itself. Explain to the viewers and maybe some new viewers that we're going to have on the show at the weekend why you find that so easy. Well, you know, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd say I go back to what you know my dad did for me when I was a young kid. You know, the training and all of that. We we went through it and. Um, and now we're here now it's just you know a blessing to have my dad there that's, that's instilled that power in me so i'm just ready to unleash it on everyone but, but you find it easy you've said you find it easy to knock people out there's no almost it's almost a reflex action rather than a thought out process yeah sure it's it's everything's it, it all is a thought out process to be honest but for me it comes naturally i've been growing up watching mike tyson and these killers in the ring that you know, for me, that's my style. I'm a, I'm a destroyer, so, yeah. You know the warning. How are you going to deal with it? He's a destroyer. That's his warning. You can't hit what you can't see. That's what you're hitting people who stand in front of you. And you're going to be right in front of me. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, I'll make you miss. You'll and when you miss, right I'm going to make you pay. My man, I'm not afraid of you. I promise you now, I am not afraid of you. Yeah. I know you're the big boy here. This is your show. If I was afraid of you, I would have gone the other route. I'm fighting you for the same money yeah. I fight for in my home country. It's not about rep. We'll see. For me, it's not about rep. We'll Just see. understand that. You said it's about rep. It's not about rep. I want to challenge myself against the best. I showed you the respect, and you underestimating me at your own peril, my mate. No, no chance. There's no chance. I'm, you're underestimating I'm 100% me. I'm ready for you. you. You're underestimating I know where you me. are. I know you're what underestimating you are. me. Yeah. You're underestimating me. Kill you said it. Killed. You said it. You don't, shouldn't talk about killing boxing. Kill, People die in boxing. Be killed. I'm no, ready no, no. to go for it. I'll beat you. No, you won't. I'll beat you. No, you won't. Take you to school. I'm ready for you. I'm, I'm ready. ready. For I'm here, I'm my man. I jumped on a plane and got you. I'm they offered me the fight. They offered me the fight. I said, yes. You're a fighter. Correct. You're a warrior. The warrior code. And then, why did you want more money to fight me? Because you weren't. Want... Well, that's what your trainer said at the press, at the media workout. Oh no, we didn't. We were waiting. Well, on a fight. I don't handle all of that. Okay, all I understand. That, I don't care about money. I said I want to challenge myself against the best. Warrior code. Yeah, I am here. here. We're, we're here. here. Correct. Go. Saturday night, we'll see. Okay. One last word. The potential immortal. We're going to speak to Derek Chisora in a moment against Tyson Fury. He will understand that a place in history forever could be gained if he were to upset Tyson Fury's plans. You're in the same position. Is that what is driving you now? What's driving me right now is fighting Daniel Dubois. There we go. The challenges, both from the continent of Africa. That's history. That man is driving me. What's next? Who cares? I need to beat Daniel Dubois. If I don't beat Daniel Dubois, there's nothing next. Boxing is a cutthroat sport, and I need to focus on the man ahead. Thank you, Kevin. Last word to you, defending your title, of course, Daniel. Yeah. Um, just tune in. It's going to be all eyes on Saturday. Me and Fury, our fights are going to be, you know, everyone's going to be watching. I'm ready to go. Let's get it on. Let's go. Thank you both very much for joining Thank us. Thank you. And good luck to you both on Saturday night.